grocery haul today. So as I put my groceries up, I'm just going to show you what all we get. Um, I want to say the total of everything was about $96. We try to stay under $100 a week if we can. We are a family of four. I have a four-year-old, I have an 18-month-old, and then my husband and myself. So um, there's some gluten-free stuff in here, some non-dairy stuff. My 18-month-old has a gluten allergy um, and a dairy allergy. So our groceries just kind of, it's a nice mix of everything. So yeah, as I put this away, I'm just going to show you everything. So we'll start with the breads. Um, we just started getting these. They're whole grain English muffins. They're dairy, soy, nut-free, and gluten-free. They're by Canyon oh, Bakehouse. Can this is my favorite brand to get of gluten-free bread or anything like that yeah. so yes so this is everything that i get i mean this is the kind of bread i get for jacks and i'll eat this too in the mornings for breakfast the second thing i got is bread for the kids during the week brayden loves peanut butter sandwiches so he'll eat on this these are really good it's another bread product three cheese garlic nuts market side version you cook them in this bag but they are really good with like spaghetti or any kind of pasta or anything like that so um we've had these one other time i think but you get these over near the like specialty bread section in Walmart in the deli. now we have um snacks we get these go go squeeze pouches brayden will eat these and so will jack's um this one is the petal petal peach and this one is the apple pear they're pretty simple ingredients the apple pear has apple pear apple puree lemon juice and then this one has apple peach sweet potato apple puree and lemon juice so i like that they're simple ingredients do you want to put that over there go put it over there where the snack cabinet is these are my guilty pleasure they're so good, but I can only eat like a little at a time. They're the Cheetos, Cheddar, Jalapeno, these things. If you haven't tried them, you gotta do it. But they do become addicting. Just yeah, so you know. You go put that one away. Okay, now, this is Jacob's favorite snack. Barbecue Pringles, we get them every single week. I like them too. And Brayden likes them too. Go put that away. And then we have the sea salt veggie straws. This is Jackson's favorite snack, but the we kids can. during the week will eat these up. We usually finish this bag within the week. Okay, now for drinks, refrigerated stuff. We only get two, which Jacob always buys like a pack of Mountain Dew, like a 12 pack can. And then um, we usually get milk and I forgot whole milk. So so I'm gonna have to go back and get that. And then we have almond, almond milk. milk. For who? Jackson Woods. So he, this is the almond coconut blend. I started get, getting this one last week and he seems to really enjoy it. So probably keep getting this one. Juice for the kids during the week. I just got the Simply the Lemonade juice. with raspberry. And it's simple ingredients. It has um, pure filtered water, cane sugar, lemon juice, and raspberry puree. So I like that too. Anything with simple ingredients, I love. Mm -hmm. This is coffee for my mom. The K cups I get. This is the. It's medium dark. Oh, it's not the same one I usually get. This is bright and fruity. I don't usually get this kind. I don't know why I picked this out. I'm stuck with it now. So I finally found cream of coconut. Um, I'm making some recipes. Um, I'm making some recipes for Jacks with this, so stay tuned because I'm filming it. Um, but I got two cans, so that's all I'll say about that. I got one lime just for one recipe that I'll show you guys in another video, but I just needed one, so I got a lime. Then I got some petite diced tomatoes. This is for a dinner recipe that I'm doing this week. I got almond cooking milk. If you are dairy free and you need like a heavy cream substitute and don't like 
cream of coconut. This is really good. It's just by Carnation. It's almond cooking milk. It is really, really good. And they usually can't tell the difference if I like switch it in the recipe. So Jax can eat it too. Then I got just the gluten-free pan. This is um, the Barilla brand. This is my favorite gluten-free pasta to get. My favorite brand. Then of course I got tried and true great value gluten free pancake and waffle mix. This is by far my favorite. Did y'all see my nail right there? I'm struggling. That's the only one hanging on. And then I got some organic chia seeds. Again, for a recipe I'm making for the channel. So stay tuned. And I grabbed red wine vinegar and um, organic agave regular bow ties because Jacob and Brayden don't like the gluten-free pasta so I'll cook them like separate pasta if I'm doing a pasta dish. Produce I got bananas. Um, I got these chopped yellow onions. I like them already chopped because I don't like chopping onions. And then I got just a bunch of cilantro for a recipe I'm doing. Frozen I got these chicken breast tenders, they're the Purdue Organic for Jack's during the week. These are by far the best besides the $9 bag. These are only $4. So the, I think it's Applegate has a $9 bag of gluten-free chicken tenders and those are really good. But they're $9, so no thank you. I got a bag of tater tots. This is just for the kids during the week to go with lunches. And corn dogs to go for lunches and then last thing for lunch I've got chicken nuggets this is just the Tyson um chicken nuggets and then I do like sandwiches we'll do pasta we'll do just like different kinds of things during the week for meat I got mild ground Italian sausage this goes this I put this in a pasta dish with the tomatoes and the almond cooking milk and it is it is so good. It's one of my favorite dishes. And then I got the fresh chicken breasts. These are the Purdue Harvest Land. Um, these are the all natural, no hormones added or anything like that. And they're individually wrapped, which I really like. This is my favorite kind of chicken breast to get. And then we don't do beef often, but I'm making um, hamburger steak this week. So if I get beef, this is the brand I get. It's just the market side um, organic grass fed beef. But these are the already made patties. Um, not already made, already formed patties. And so for hamburger steak, they just work really well for that. And then I just kind of got a random item to make something that you guys will see. So I grabbed I grabbed these mason jars. It's just four of them, um, but they're just like the little ones. So they are eight ounces, but that's my big grocery haul. We grocery shop weekly and that was almost a hundred dollars. It was like $96. So like I said, we try to stay under a hundred and we usually do pretty well about that. There are some weeks where we need like big stuff like laundry detergent, dryer sheets, things like that, and that stuff really adds up. But as far as just groceries go, we do pretty well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And we will see you in our next video. Bye.